All right, so I was literally in the process of recording a video. I took a little break in between and I was checking Twitter and I saw that Yasmani Grandal has signed for the Chicago White Sox, which means I need to do a Chicago White Sox off-season rebuilds and that's what we're gonna do today. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you hit the thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new to it and enjoyed the content. And as always in the comment section, let me know future videos you would like to see. If you missed last video, it's gonna be on screen now. It's also gonna be in the top right-hand corner. Go and give them a watch and if you're new to the channel and you haven't followed any of the social media it'll be all in the description below i was not expecting this yasmani grandal signing at all it caught me off guard i think it's four years 71 million and some change crazy deal the chicago white Sox are looking like a really good team for the future i think this is a really good signing for them let's hop into this we're gonna start this rebuild at the free agency period and um, i've already edited uh yasmani grandal's contract to mimic what it is in real life and i've also added him to the white Sox roster let's hop into this rebuild it should be a lot of fun all right so we're in the off season now we're gonna keep going forward with the team and when I'm looking at it, uh, Jose Abreu was just brought back on a one-year deal, I think it was. So we're we're gonna obviously just gonna give him a one-year deal. We'll just give him a, a an offer that he won't refuse. The rest, I think, we're just gonna let go because when we take a look at the team, um, you know, Tim Anderson's definitely a player I want to keep. Jose Abreu is a player I'm going to keep. Yasmani Grandal, definitely going to keep him. Obviously, we signed him to that, that huge contract. Yoan Moncada is a good piece to build around. Eloy. Um, AJ Reed, probably not going to keep him. Lurie Garcia might keep him. Not too sure. Um, Yolmer, Gold Glover, do we keep him around for another season with arbitration? What are we going to do? Um, we don't need three catchers, so we're definitely going to let um, one of them walk. And then when you take a look at some of the prospects we have, we definitely have some coming up. We have Madrigal, um, uh, Andrew Vaughn, and a couple others that we got to keep our eyes on. Pitching staff, it, it looks okay. We definitely need to improve it. Um, we definitely want to keep Herrera and Colome and kind of build around them. Jace Fry is looking like he's doing pretty solid. So we have some good pieces. So let's just see what we can do. Um, so Abreu is really the only one I'm going to give a contract to. I'm probably going to change the staff a little bit just to help us out. Give us a little bit better of an edge. Definitely want to add Kopech. Definitely want to add Zach Collins um, to the 40 man. And I think that might be it. So I'm just going to do that off camera. And then arbitration wise... Um, not Tilson, not McCann, and then I know Adrissimer just uh, Despania just went to China or Japan, maybe Korea. I know he went to Asia. Um, so basically these top six, not Tilson, not McCann, and I guess most likely everybody else, and then contracts. We don't really need AJ Reed. We got Vaughn. So we're not going to bring back Reed. Giolito, yes. We got some really good prospects to look out for. And then free agency, maybe maybe like one bullpen arm. If I don't even know if we really need one. I think, maybe, I think we need one center fielder because we don't really have anybody just yet. Luis Robert's almost there. Almost there. We definitely need a, a right fielder. So maybe move... Marcelo Zuna or maybe make him the DH center uh, shortstop we're good second base we're good third base we're good first base we're set catcher obviously we're set now so I think it might just be solidifying this pitching rotation maybe find a corner outfielder and this team is set all right for season one technically after we've you know worked a little a little bit of magic and free agency a couple pieces just to kind of push us into that playoff hunt let's just see what this team's looking like now so really quickly this is what we're kind of looking like. So Kevin Pillar, Carson Fulmer, Hans Roberto, and Todd Frazier were like recent free agency while I was just looking at it. We brought in Ross Stripling in the Rule 5 draft, AJ Ramos, Marcelo Zuna, Will Harris, and that's really about it for free agency. So this is how we're kind of looking. We have a young pitching rotation, so I feel like they're going to develop really quickly. And we've got a, a really a good like future ahead of us so we got Rodon, Giolito, Reynaldo Lopez, Kopech, and Covey. We also have a couple others. We also have like Dylan Cease, Dane Dunning, Alec Hansen. We could trade like one or two of these people. I'm thinking maybe Dylan Cease is ready to come up next year. 
um if one of like maybe like dylan covey or someone doesn't pan out we can bring up cease we have stripling is like a long reliever if he works for a season then we're good will harris carson fulmer aj ramos jace fry um kelvin herrera and alex Colome. so we've got a, a good bullpen i'm pretty comfortable with it is it amazing no but we have a couple arms that i like rely on we have zach collins wellington castillo todd frazier and then hanser alberto i brought these two guys in just as bench bats a little bit of depth um just to kind of help us out for a season um and then when you kind of look at the actual lineup, this is what I'm thinking is what we're going to rock with for the foreseeable future. Um, really, the only changes is that like maybe Pilar leaves. We bring up Luis Robert and then at second base, we'd bring up Nick Madrigal, because when you take a look at the team, um, catchers i think we're set with collins and grandal wellington castillo i'll keep him this season let the contract run out let him go to free agency andrew vaughn's coming up he turns into an absolute beast and then you got madrigal coming up we got um that's really about it uh, yolbert sanchez i don't think he's gonna feature um in time and then luis robert is another guy i want to get involved in this rebuild so we definitely have some players to look out for and i feel like with this team it's a young team to build on let's see how this first season goes i think we can make the playoffs with this team all right so as the season comes to a close i thought we were going to be a postseason team and it looks like we're going to be lucky if we finish over 500 we luckily do 83 and 79, but man, I thought we would have been a little bit better. No league leaders, awards, it's just a gold glove for Grandal. And we missed out on the division by seven games. What about the wild card? 10 games. So we're definitely gonna have to step it up. Um, I'm assuming it's gonna be the pitching rotation that is gonna be the issue. Um, Rodon didn't do well. Giolito did all right. Um, Lopez not good. Kopech and Cub Cubby was all right. Cubby was all right, but Kopech and Lopez kind of struggled. Dylan Cease might have to come up next year. He might be that guy that we rely on. Ross Stripling wasn't terrible. Will Harris wasn't bad either. Carson Fulmer might be a trade piece. He's got a potential, and I feel like he's not really going to develop. I'll give him one more season. We'll see how it goes. AJ Ramos was okay. The whip's kind of high. Jace Fry just completely turned into a different pitcher. He went from a 1-4 ERA um, to a 5-7-6. Herrera was good. Colome, not so much. So pitching definitely hit or miss. We're going to have to figure that out. Collins, not great. Castillo only had 12 at bat, so I'm not really worried about it. Todd Frazier did really well in his limited appearances. And same with Alberto. When we take a look at the rest of the team, Anderson is not a leadoff guy. We're going to have to move him down in the lineup. Our, uh, uh, Marcelo Zuna wasn't terrible. Definitely wish it was a little bit better in the run production. Jose Abreu was great. Grandal was great. Moncada, kind of similar with uh, Anderson. I got to see a little bit better run production. Eloy, not bad. Um, Yeah, just Moncada was better than Anderson. I just... Oh man, we we got it. We got to just be a lot better. Eloy's looking like he's going to be a stud. Um, Kevin Pillar, luckily, it's just a one-year deal for him. Lurie Garcia is probably not coming back. What is Robert at 76? I think we just we just plug him in there. See what happens. Same with Madrigal. Maybe have him take over at second because Yolmer is not really developing either. And I think we just throw those young guys in. See what happens. Give get them a really strong pitching rotation to work with. And then yeah, we have a young lineup, but at least we have like a decent pitching rotation to carry the team. So. Let's, I think that might have to be the way to go. Just kind of rely on the pitching and let those young guys develop um, the next two seasons. So ex negotiations, I'm going to give Colome one more shot. You know, I'm going to I'm going to make him a bullpen guy, though. Uh, Abreu might as well let him be kind of like that, that veteran, that that like leader of the team. Uh, Kelvin Herrera has been pitching really well. So just to be safe, I'm gonna do a one year deal just in case like he does poorly. We can always just let him walk and then we go somewhere else. Um, these two guys, I have a feeling Will Harris is gonna decrease really, really quickly. So I'm gonna let him walk. Uh, Ramos kind of the same thing. We don't need Castillo anymore. And then as a bench bat, let's just bring back Todd Frazier. Um, the Todd father. I know it's crazy. I don't know why I'm saying that, but let's let's bring him back for a year. He actually wasn't terrible. Like that. That's the crazy thing. He was actually pretty good in his appearances. So, 40 man. Not worried about it. Arbitration. Um, 
we'll, we'll give it to everybody just so that we have them on the roster we can trade them for sure we're gonna give everybody a contract as well looking at free agency i definitely want to add one more like better pitcher maybe trade like just trade one of those guys and see if we can get a good pitcher in is trevor bauer the move though what about marcus stroman maybe marcus stroman i just i feel like we could probably trade for a better um starter we definitely need that long reliever that's what we're kind of lacking so maybe robbie erland comes in helps us out that might be a move even though he kind of did struggle pedro Baez is sometimes a glitch but he had a rough year as well so who could we get kayla wouldn't be a bad idea kayla might be the guy to go to um we already have two relievers so kayla is just like another bullpen arm and then we have Ozuna and Jimenez in the corners. Center field, I want to bring up Robert, but then we need a backup. So do we just bring in, we bring back Lurie Garcia to be that backup? Shortstop is going to be Anderson. Third base, we got Moncada. Second base, we're going to have Madrigal and also Yolmer most likely just as his backup. So I think we're set on the infield. It's just... We, we got to figure out this pitching. That's the big thing. All right, this is a guy I usually stray away from, but we're going to try it out. Carl Edwards Jr. for Carson Fulmer and Aaron Bummer along with Luis Curbelo. And um, let's take a look at the team now because, you know, heading into season two, I didn't really want to change too much except for the pitching. I definitely wanted to strengthen that aspect. And the starters, they're not great. I definitely think Dylan Cease is the move going forward. Um, instead of Covey, so maybe trade Covey. Um, but then, like, do we stick with like Giolito, Lopez, Kopech, and Rodon, or do we trade one of them? Um, do we just give them one more trial and error? What's the move with that? So, for second base, I want Madrigal. Center field, I definitely want Robert, and you can kind of see who we brought in. Bubba Starling's one of those names. But when you look at the team, it is. Is looking really good I might let who do I want leading off in this team that's kind of the issue we don't really have a leadoff guy so let's go obviously this isn't gonna be the lineup like the order I'm gonna change the light the order but I like the team um, we're obviously gonna stick Madrigal and Robert in. we have Vaughn coming up as well um, it's looking like our triple-a team needs some more players but the team's good the starting rotation I still think is our weak link. Um, I'm liking this Kayla Miller setup here. Now we just added Edwards Jr. We're going to take these two guys out of the setup role. I'm liking it. I definitely think we could improve the starting rotation, but let's just see. Let's give them one more year and see how it goes. And then if it goes poorly, we can always, you know, pick somebody up. We can always make a trade, um, especially since, you know, there, we, we have the prospects to make trades. Um, and I think we should be set. So that's the team for season two. That one trade for uh, Carl Edwards Jr. Uh, we didn't really make any big name splashes, mostly just the, the bullpen arms. Let's see how it goes. I'll see you guys at the end of the year. All right, so the season's coming to an end. We just hit the 90 win mark. So I'm assuming we're making the postseason um, through the wild card or something. Uh, we won the division uh, 101 and 61. That's huge. I'm actually covering it up. I moved myself to the wrong spot. So 101 and 61 won the division and we're taking on the athletics. So that's good. Huge improvement. What a 30 win improvement. League leaders, Giolito with the best ERA. Okay. I'll take that for sure. Chris Davis is putting up crazy good stats. I don't understand it. So we're the seventh ranked team, which is amazing to see. We're hopping up in the ranks. We won the division by 22 games crazy like difference between season one and season two so rodone looks great giolito amazing lopez not terrible Kopech a little bit better than him so maybe we got the one two three set up reynaldo lopez was solid and then dylan covey um, was probably our five for sure so maybe dylan sees that's it's his time to hop in so we got stripling who did well jace fry better better for sure um gotta love to see it we have herrera who did well and this is why I usually don't go for him. For some reason, when I don't have him, he does really good. When I have him, he does poorly. So we'll we'll see how it goes. Kayla did well. Andrew Miller lights out. And then Kalame was very good. So 
looks like the pitching rotation and the bullpen really carried the team this season. Um, Zach Collins did well in his appearances. Yomer Sanchez as well. And then uh, Hanser Alberto. So our bench did quite well. So pretty happy with that. Um, let's take a look at the team. So Tim Anderson, the thing is like, he's not a leadoff guy, but we don't really have a true leadoff hitter in this team. You got Moncada after him. Good run production, 33 home runs, 89 RBIs, 33 doubles. Like he just strikes out a lot. Jose Abreu, maybe it's like he's doing really well. He's still putting up good numbers, 25 home runs, 76 RBIs, 286 average. But is it time to bring up Andrew Vaughn? Like it, it might be, it might be. Um, we got Ozuna who's putting up about 20 plus home runs. Not as good as I would have hoped. Um, he does become a free agent this year. Do we bring him back? Do we try to sign somebody else? We got one more year after this year. So we definitely got to see what we're going to do. Yasmani Grandal is a beast. Glad we have him on the team. Eloy Jimenez, not as good as last year, but still pretty solid. Nick Madrigal, 243, but his hitting stats are only going to get better. So for season three, I think is going to be really solid. Same with Luis Robert. He's only going to get better. And then Todd Frazier as our DH bench bat. Didn't do terrible. Not as good as last year, but still pretty solid. So I'm pretty happy with the team. Everything's looking like it's going in the right direction. The young players are developing quickly. So taking on the athletics and we advance and we're taking on the Yankees now. So as much as I want Dylan Covey going in at game one, it doesn't look like uh, Rodon did well. 13.5 ERA. Ooh. Um, you know what? Let's go Giolito game one. It looks like he's our ace for sure. So we got Giolito versus Jordan Montgomery. We lost five to one. Then Rodon loses. Kopech wins. Then we lose. So we're facing elimination here in the second season, second round of the postseason. Um, let's go Giolito. I'm feeling it. Alrighty. So they got Mondesi. That's a new one. And then the rest of the team is the same. So. Let's see here. Can we get on the board early? And we do. Moncada goes deep, which is good to see. But then Stanton gives them the lead on a two-run bomb. Ozuna gets us back in the game. And my controller is acting up. So there we go. We got Mondesi on first. You don't want to see that. But we get out of the inning. Second and third, Abreu grounds out. And we can't get the run in. So three to two game. And uh, okay, Grandal gets us that tie game. Almost pinch hit there. Didn't want to do that. Giolito's done after four. Unfortunately, our bullpen is destroyed. Yikes. Um, We're going to have to be really smart with it now. No wonder why we're getting destroyed. Our bullpen is just, just gone. Non-existent. Um, we're going to take him out. We're going to go to... Stripling for like maybe an inning, I guess. Can he get us out of it? He does. Perfect. That was huge. Can Madrigal give us the lead? No. Frazier flies out. Robert double play. Really? All right, we're going to take him out. We're not going to be we're not going to be dumb here. Let's go to Edwards. He walks. Run scores and I think that's it. I think our bullpen's just too too beat. Like we just couldn't really do much with it. Sack fly brings us within one. We just couldn't get that extra run in. So let's get the pitching change in. We'll just we'll just use Kayla for this inning. I mean, it really comes down to this last inning right here. Can we come back? First and second with one out. I mean, it's not bad. Robert, tie and run. Okay. And uh, this is where it gets a little tricky now because we don't really have the bullpen to do this. Eloy walks it off for us. Okay, so we're back into this series. And uh, you know what? We have one more season, so I'm just going to send this game. And we ended up losing three to four. Jace Fry getting the loss. So I know you probably wanted to see me quick manage it. And I kind of started doing it. But I was like, you know what? We got one more season. I feel like we're going to make this team a lot better. Let's just get into it. Let's see what we can do with the team. Um, Andrew Miller. He was really good. Let's just give him another year. I mean, it, it might backfire on us. But for a lefty, we need a lefty. Might as well do it. Jose Abreu. I just, it's, it's Jose Abreu. You can't get rid of him. Marcelo Zuna. Let's do one year, 10 mil. Kalame. He's going down. I don't know why. Um, I'm going to hold off on Kalame. 
Rodon I want back for sure. He was really solid for us. Herrera, how are you this year? Really solid. Let's just do a one-year deal for him just to be safe. And then we'll let... Yomer is a bench bat slash platoon player is, is not bad. We'll bring him in and then we'll let the rest walk. See if we can find anybody in free agency. And now, 40 man, how's it looking? No one of note. And then I think we're going to let Stripling go. Maybe we're going to offer everybody arbitration. I believe maybe not, maybe not uh, Alberto, but everyone's going to get a contract free agency. Now, this is where it gets interesting because this is where the big money signings are this season. Do we bring in that that one starter where we just really need it? You know, I think we should. What's our budget looking like? We have the money to do it. Ozuna didn't take the offer. Do we just say, you know what, Ozuna, you don't want to join us. That's fine. We'll just go a different direction like a JD Martinez. I think that might be it. I think we got to go JD Martinez. We'll offer him two years as much as we can give him. I think that's a, a definite move for us. Like we have to do that. And then do we go for a shortstop? I think we just pass on that and just put the money in pitching. Try to get JD Martinez and see what we can do. Why does Chapman's face look like he has a stroke? That's not Chapman's face. What's going on with that? But um, we're going to pick up a pitcher for sure. And we're just going to strengthen this team a little bit more. All right, so I'm still thinking I th we need we need pitching. And I made some huge splashes in free agency heading into this last season. And uh, let's take a look. Let's take a look. So Dylan Cease, like his stats aren't bad, but I don't think he's, he's going to be good enough. Uh, JD Martinez is new. Polanco, Chapman. So yeah, we made some, we made some big splashes. So when you take a look at the team, it's it's good. But I don't know if it's good enough. You know, like the bullpen looks solid. Very, very solid. You got Edwards, Jace Fry, Herrera, Miller, Kayla, and Chapman. Like, like from here down, love it. Dylan Covey right here is not terrible. I'm even tempted to go like cease here and then trade some of our prospects for like another starting pitcher. We still have money in the budget as well. So we definitely can afford one. Our bench, solid. Love it. Even tempted to trade like Ramon Torres and bring up Andrew Vaughn because I think his power off the the, be the bench would be amazing. We got Moncada, Polanco, JD Martinez, Eloy, Grandal, Abreu, Robert, Anderson, and Madrigal. This team is stacked. So what I'm thinking is we're gonna trade for a starting pitcher. We're gonna bring up Vaughn to play for um, Sanchez. No, who was it? The second baseman that we don't need, Torres. We don't really need them. We'll trade them maybe. Um, but let's try to find that that fifth starter that I feel like we, we definitely need. So let's figure that that fifth starter, maybe even an ace. Who knows? We'll figure something out. All right, we're going for Jack Flaherty of the Cardinals. He's had some pretty good seasons at 339 and a 298 the last two. We're going to pick up a 92 overall starting pitcher. Um, we had to trade Zach Collins to make this work along with Dylan Covey and Homer Holland, who I don't think I mentioned, but he was a free agent in the first year's free agency. He looks decent, but for the team, he's not going to feature. So let's trade him for Jack Flaherty and then Connor Wong's just a backup for us um, since we still have Grandal as the catcher. So there's our starter. Let's bring up Andrew Vaughn because we need that pop off the bench and then why are we over we shouldn't be over we should we should be fine oh i didn't trade uh i didn't trade torres so i need to send torres down and then we should be good i think we're set team looks good i'll make sure triple a AAA and double a have enough players that team looks nice I, I have a feeling we're ranked first. Like Jack Flaherty is obviously our ace. And then we'll just, we'll go like that. That is, whew, I'm liking the way this team looks for sure. We're ranked fourth, really? Who's ahead of us? All right, so the Braves are second. Who's ahead of us? The Dodgers, okay. The Who's number one? The Yankees, all right, fair enough. I mean, yeah, 
I'm liking the team though. I'm thinking we're set. Let's see how season three finishes. All right, so we're finishing up the season. We kind of have to finish really strong. We are going to hit the 90 win mark, I hope. Okay, we did. We won the division. Not as good as last year. I think we lost 10 games more than we did last year. Actually, I'm pretty sure we did. We're taking on the Athletics again in the divisional series. And um, we won the division by five games. So it's not bad. We're ranked third now. And Luis Robert had the most triples. So let's take a look. See how the team did. So... Kopech, not good at all. Definitely don't recommend him for franchise. Rodon didn't do well. Giolito was good. Lopez was solid. Jack Flaherty, yikes. He was supposed to be the ace. Dylan Cease didn't do well. Edwards Jr., no. Fry is up there. Kelvin Herrera is consistent throughout the entire rebuild. Andrew Miller was very solid. Keone Kella, not great. And Chapman was decent. 41 saves. Okay, so I mean... For a pitching staff that I thought was going to carry the team, it didn't really do well. Our bench, you know, not terrible at all. Um, when we take a look at the team, Yoan Moncada, great. 33 home runs, 103 RBIs, 303 average. Gregory Polanco, almost a 300 average, 31 home runs, 87 RBIs. JD Martinez did really well. Good home runs, RBIs average. Eloy's up there, which is great. Yasmani Grandal, again, very consistent for us. Luis, Ro or not Luis Robert. Uh, Jose Abreu, 30 home runs, 100 RBIs. Great. I thought about dropping him for Andrew Vaughn. I'm glad I didn't. Luis Robert, he's getting there. I still think he needs a little bit longer before he hits that mark. Uh, like that good mark of like really good hitting, really good fielding. Tim Anderson just didn't really do it in this rebuild i considered trading him and then just signing maybe like a lindor or a Baez, one of the free agents from this past free agency but i decided let's stick with tim anderson and then nick madrigal just not as not as good as i would have hoped so unfortunately it just didn't really pan out this last season but let's see if we can do anything in the playoffs so facing elimination gotta love it gotta love it so here we go could it all end here? Let's give it to Kopech. He's that he's that a talked about prospect. He's coming back from Tommy John in real life. Let's see how he does here. So so far, no, I don't want to pinch hit. There we go. All right. So they have Wilson Ramos is new. Michael Brantley, D. Gordon. Um, pretty good team. Pretty good team. Profar goes deep, of course. They have Jamison Tyone on the mound. Um, so here we go. We're still down one. Can we get this run in? We can't. Huh. So far, we're in a little bit of trouble. Down two. It's just not getting the bats going. You know, Kopech's done well. We're going to take him out after six. Let's go to Kayla. And uh, can we get these, these, these bats going? Huh. Here we go thrown out at home really and then nothing there so okay like the pitching's done well two runs in the game is not bad it's just the bats just not not producing when we need them to we're gonna take out kayla here we're gonna go to let's go herrera runners thrown out so they have a three run lead it all comes down to this we got the heart of the lineup three four five there's an out there's an out there's a single and that's it that's how it ends. Shutout for Tyone. Complete game shutout too. Man, look at this team. How is it not winning World Series? Like that is a stacked team. And I mean, when you look at the budget, JD Martinez is still around. I mean, you definitely got some big contracts coming up. So you're gonna have to figure out a way to pay everybody. But I feel like it's, it's not bad. I feel like you're in a good spot and Unfortunately, just didn't pan out. But that's going to be the Yasmani Grandal White Sox offseason rebuild. Whatever you want to call it. The White Sox offseason rebuild. The Yasmani Grandal White Sox rebuild. And we created a crazy good team. That pitching staff should have done so much better. The lineup should have delivered and gotten us farther in the postseason. And unfortunately, it didn't. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and enjoyed the content. And as always, in the comment section, 
Let me know future videos you would like to see. On screen now are gonna be two videos, the most recent video that I've uploaded and also a video that YouTube recommends. Go check it out if you haven't seen either video. Other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.